Hi there, this is Alex working on pencil layout. Uh, today guys I want to show you um, how to add uh, wires to existing pickups actually it drops uh, for distri proper distributing power. I'm using Atlas Gauge 20 on this layout work working perfectly. I really like it. Uh, to existing layout uh, already glued track and ballasted. If you need to uh, put feedback modules or if you need to distribute more power, you're thinking your power district is not getting enough, enough juice, you know, it's dropping voltage, uh, then you need to add more drops, okay? So I'm going to use my... Um, that's my technology. <clears throat> Works for me. So what I'm using, I'm using just cordless drill. It's actually a very nice one. I bought it last summer and very happy about it. And about 12 inch, um, hard to tell what's the diameter, but it's only mostly uh, hardware stores. Um, I should say about four millimeters. Sorry about the inches, but uh, you can find it. You see, it's, it's a little bit uh, almost uh, uh, half size, one and a half size of the wire. So if the wire have a problem to go through the hole, it it, it will take care about it. So th there is already holes, but I want to just for it was like short, um, a little bit less thicker wire. I'm using to make you are going through. Here you are, clean path. Okay, and right here. As you can see, I'm going through three layers of uh, inch white foam. I think it's Home Depot. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a uh, Lowe's foam. But uh, whatever you prefer to use. Perfect. Okay. Next step, we're going to solder the wires. Let me prepare. Okay, I already pre-cut it and put that small waves. So if it is going through the hole and it stays, so I, I have, uh, I don't have, I have only two hands, you know. <laughs> so it stays, then I I can tip, put the tip with the solder and uh, solder it. Okay. By using my favorite Kester 186 military grade flux perfect perfect take care about uh, of all, all oxidized film on on um, on the track on the, any metals whatever you're going to solder and this is my favorite about 12 years old tool it's made in USA deal industries 12 years old like brand new I, I a little bit um, always uh, sharpening here for the wire but mostly I'm using to uh, take the insulation out okay so good tool probably three times more expensive than um, some different manufacturer made in, made in nowhere <laughs> it's kind of sarcastic about not good tools but I grew up with um, very bad quality tools unfortunately very hard to find no, all, all days. Now I'm using my uh, also about 12 years old uh, soldering gun. That's Weller, uh, more powerful. No, it's it's the same power, just different grip. Maybe a little bit more powerful than the um, the unit I have at the store. But that's my traveling guy, and it's I love it, working perfectly. I didn't change anything. I just polishing. I'm sorry. Um, take care about the tip and that's it that's lead free uh, solder um, I like it it's it's very nice so I'm taking a little bit solder on the tip okay repairing wire and you will figure out why it's 
wavy here so it will stay if the hole is nice and it's straight it can easily drop okay that's it use my caster flux a little bit always nice okay extra flux only good result we'll do a little bit more um, solder and uh, yeah I see it's kind of smoke coming through done that's it it's not going anywhere um, you can use Dremel you can use usually just a little bit the exacto knife you know scrape this out uh, paint it and you put the vials back you will forget that spot if you if you, if you not uh, mark it at some place it will be very hard to find done deal very nice uh, drop right now okay thanks for watching we'll do more videos of course have a good one bye